Okay, what I'm going to show you here is uh, how to do the parsing on a scanner, a Mac cool scanner. Um, I've already connected. The first thing you want to do is to connect your um, tool to uh, Wi-Fi so you can do all this. So I've already done and connected the, the Wi-Fi on this one here. So um, this is going to fix the, the parsing. You have to re-download the the app on the uh scanner on the scan tool right now i'm doing this on a max flex a um i had to do it on a on a flex pro i've had to do it on a max fours so um just see if this helps you out a little bit here so um see if this helps. so usually when you first open it up open up the app you do register basic mode um usually you start typing and it might pop up so sometimes it'll pop up and it'll say parsing mode or some of like that. So maybe, you know, might need to do that. But uh, let me close this and just go do it just in case. So um, first off, I'm going to go to settings. And then after settings, you go to apps. And then if you don't see it there, you can search the apps. And one you want to go to is uh chrome and after chrome you go to advanced and then down here it says install unknown apps so there you want to click that and then allow from the source you just go and click on and click that one open and then go back uh let me see there's a permissions one she don't yeah i think that's the only one that you need to do on that is to turn on the uh turn that one tab on on chrome you can go back now close this out now you're gonna go to chrome uh just accept no oh, thanks so home will take you to the uh Mac cool website. So you just want to add a website or you just type over that one. And the website you want to go to is it's launch tech USA dot com forward slash Matco. That's how it is right there. I typed it there enter now you have all these so if you're on a on a four then you go to that one right there max four um not not this diagnostic app or not the ones that are red the ones that just have like the kind of white background if you want to say so we're going to scroll up to max flex not max flex uh let's see what we got here oh it probably is a max flex i forget so you go to max flex, you don't tap it, you hold it down. And then this will open up and then do download link. And then you just uh, do continue here. And then allow. And then uh, download the app. Does it pretty quick. Just do okay. So you can harm your device or whatever. Just do okay. And we'll check real quick here. It's already downloaded. Click off. And then it'll, this thing will pop up. Do you want to install an update to existing application? You go down here at the bottom and do install. And then down here, you can just open the app and go straight to it. And there you should be ready to go to register basic mode and register the customer. Make sure they have all the information. Make sure they have a Gmail account. Um, it'll be name, name, first name, last name, their email address, which is the Gmail account. And the password is the password that they actually have for that same uh, existing Gmail account. 
if they have it if they, ha if they don't have one they're gonna have to go make one that's a little bit of a hassle but they do just make sure they have their password saved and make sure they uh save both especially the email um and then over here then you're gonna put in the serial number uh of the scanner the verification code that's on the little paper inside of the that comes with the box the case activation code will be the code that comes out on your receipt when you're completing the sale there's going to be a code that comes out on the receipt make sure you do it exactly the way it is with the case if it's upper case lower case the numbers and the dashes and postal code whatever um code that they you know wherever their business is going to be working out of and then just hit activate and should be good to go if there's any warnings or something like that it could be um, you know they put the password wrong or the email doesn't match up or the password doesn't match up to their existing email um, just little things like that or sometimes you know you might mess up putting in the activation code or serial number or something like that but that should be it and same for a flex same for a max 4 same for a now the new flex pro um, probably even a max me I haven't done really much of max me's but same same process so this is pretty much just to fix the the parsing issue that will pop up when you try to first set up a scanner and you'll get the uh, the warning. It's best just to go in there and do all that stuff and then that way you don't have to be going back and forth and, and all that. Thanks.